What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy channel. I'm Lloyd and I have a very special guest here today. The myth, the man, the legend, Evil Stifler. I don't think there's anybody better qualified to talk about this subject than Evil Stifler. Between us, we've had three subs. Obviously Evil Stifler's had a lot more than me. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna show you the different strategies that work and what we think uh, is uh, what works better than other things. I just wanna clarify that when Lloyd said between us, he did not mean threesomes between us. <laughs> uh, threesomes for me, I've always been a spontaneous activity that kind of come about once I'm in the in the groove of my evening. So I've you know I've gone out I'm I'm out and about now and, and I will be past the point to where I don't I don't really think about what I'm doing and I'm just kind of I already hit on a couple of chicks like you you know you're comfortable talking and walking up to strangers and and you're you're you want to be outwardly open with creating conversation. So once I'm in that mood, then I will be able to see two girls. And I always like to look for two girls that are like friends, you know, that know each other, they're buddies. Um, and when I go up and talk to them, I like to flirt with both of them. So that way, neither one of them has to think that I'm into one of them more than the other. And I'll keep this relationship between the three of us um, moving forward by continuing to flirt with both of them at the same time. Um, just like little little uh, nuances of you know, complimenting their shirt. Oh, I like your earrings. I like your eyes. Oh, she's so pretty. I bet she tells you how pretty your eyes are all the time. You know, giving her the option to be like, oh yeah, she does. And like that's kind of like a, a, a tester. And I'll be like, I'll bet you, I'll bet you tell her she's beautiful all the time, don't you? And she's like, yeah, she does. I'm like, I don't know how you two do it. If I was best friends, like I wouldn't even be here at the bar. I'd just be back at home doing it with each other all day long. You know, shit like that. And they'll be like, shut up, like, well, we sleep with each other sometimes. I'm like, yeah. Little I, cuddle sessions. No cuddle sessions. I'm, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I would never sleep with either of you without the other one, <laughs> you know? Um, and and you, what you're doing, and I'm just keeping just dropping little hints, trying to prod and, and poke my way into a threesome. So once I see that they're both into each other, you know, you're at the bar, you start triple kissing chicks, people kind of like, it gains a little bit of attention. But if it's a nightclub, if it's at a club and you're doing it, it's not really a big deal if you're both standing up. Um, but if they're both sitting at the bar and you, you know, you, I like to, when they're both sitting at the bar, I won't sit next to either one of them sometimes. I'll walk in between the two of them. So they'll have to turn around away from the bar and now they're facing me. Um, but also while they're doing that, they can also see the whole crowd behind them. So like, you know, you can kind of pop, you know, pop eagle their asses and get them both into you close and you're talking, you know, you buy them a fucking drink. You're trying to have a threesome, don't be a dick. Do whatever it takes to bond and maintain a relationship between the three of you. Yeah, exactly. You're a team. You're a team. You're getting a little touchy. Like, you know, as they're touching each other, we're all sh shaking and talking and touching as people do while we're having a conversation. Maybe, you know, let them play with your hair. Have them start touching you a little bit. This is always fun because, you know, the, if they both touch your hair at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, all right, now you both touched me at the same time. On my, in my mind, I've already had a threesome right there. <laughs> like, we're all three holding hands at the same time. Golden. Mm -hmm. Golden. So then from there, I will make mention of somewhere else I would like to go. Just think of an excuse to get him back. Or out of the bar. Just out of the bar to the to a next bar. You know, um, unless it's like at the night and it's getting towards the end of the evening. I won't go right to the house. If it's getting towards the end of the evening, I'll, I'll notice before like last call, I say, hey, let's get out of here and go get some booze before the bar, before the liquor stores close. Great. Once you already have a bag of booze and you got these two girls that left the bar with you, either hop in a cab if you're not next to your house or walk your ass to your fucking house, you know? And walk them, you know, kind of arm in arm. You know, keep if keep it cool, keep it classy, or don't walk them arm in arm. It just depends. Like feel the situation. You know, you want to be able to maintain the fact that it's the three of you, and the walk home can be dangerous because you got to walk by every other guy who's getting out of the bar trying to hit on chicks as well. You yeah. know, and if you don't have your game on tight, that girl might run into a friend. One of them, they might run into another group of guys that they saw earlier in the night that were like, you know, and the guys might be like, hey, what's up, uh, you know, um, as haters do. As we all do. <laughs> um, I don't even want to call it hating. I would just say, like, you know, to, to each man, to, you know, the spoils goes the victor. And uh, exactly. so basically, once if you got the booze, you get them out of the bar, you maintain a, a relationship with the two of them the whole time. If you're going back to your place with them, or they're going back to your, their place, once you get back to the house 
you know, then, you know, hopefully you've already kissed one of them or both of them at least. And if you haven't, keep it in the kitchen. If that's an option. Keep it in the kitchen. Keep yeah. it in the kitchen because the kitchen is the place where shit goes down. Um, so you're in the kitchen, you're making drinks, you're having fun, you're talking. You know, at this point, it's just the three of you. You're already in the kitchen, so like they might kiss each other, and you just have to prelude it from there. Now, the nuances of this are a whole other subject that I could get into for fucking hours, but we only have a couple minutes, and I just wanted to say that I would say that, the, like I said, the best way to do it is to flirt with both of them at the same time. Don't choose. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you, sometimes you'll get like the one that's maybe a little bit more dominant than the other. She's kind of leading. The other girl's kind of following. Like the other girl is just wherever she goes, the other girl's going to go too. So if you win her over, you're usually golden. But the way, the cool thing about the way Evil Stifler does it is it doesn't matter if you have one that's dominant, more dominant than the other, or they're both the same. You, the game is still, you're treating them as one entity. You're treating yourselves as a team. Get on that party train and then bring it back to your place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or their place. Or, or their place or, or, or wherever. Um, but the main thing is you don't pick and choose because one of the biggest things that fucks this whole thing up is one girl feeling like she's not part of it, one girl feeling like she's not included, the other girl feeling like she's not as good as the other girl. It, they get that Women are going to judge themselves based on the other person that they're with. And so that's one of the biggest things that you have to deal with. If, if you're going out with a girl to try and get a threesome, like you got a girlfriend who's down for that sort of stuff, that's going to be the biggest issue that you're going to encounter is dealing with, oh, you know, I feel, I feel girl threatened. Accepted. Yeah, I feel threatened by this girl or like yeah. they don't like each other or like they're, she feels self-conscious. Those are the biggest things that you have to deal with. And if you do it the way Evil Stifler did it, um, you're not going to yeah. have this problem. Most of the time when I've pulled a threesome, it's been, there's been one dominant girl and I was just kind of talking to her and then her friend kind of came in. She was already down to sleep with me and then she's, she just brought her friend. Like that's kind of how it worked. The way Evil Stifler does it is he treats it just, it's just like him going out and getting a girl. One girl is the same as him going out and getting two girls. It's it's, he treats it as the same thing, his mindset's the same, um, and his confidence is exactly the same. And that's why he does it so often. Especially like with that girlfriend situation, like if you got a girl that's into girls, and you go hitting on chicks together, you know, you might get back to the house and the girls be like, oh no, I just want you, you know? So you gotta watch that shit, because it can be a slippery slope into fucking, your girlfriend just banging some chick and you sitting there in the corner having to jerk off on both of them. Yeah. Which is, you know, not the worst situation, but... <laughs> yeah, be, be cool about it too. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of different combinations. Like, you might bring two girls home and one of them is like, all right, well, you can penetrate me, but you can't penetrate my friend, or they're gonna have, like, weird rules. Yeah. Just be, just be cool with it, and then, you know... Like, she can only give you a head and you can only have sex with me. Yeah. That should work more along the lines with, like, your girlfriend having a threesome or your friend who's yeah, a girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. Unless your friend's a freak and, you know, you guys are totally congruent with each other, which is awesome. But, like, what I was going to say earlier is a lot of the girls that <clears throat> I've had threesomes with, A, have never had a threesome before, and B, have never fooled around with each other before. So, you know... You, it, it, like I said, it's it's really you flirting with both of them at the same time and you being the double-sided dildo that they're looking for out in the world that makes them both happy and discreet, safe, you know, and, and secure and, and, and the fact that shit's not going to get weird during the, the middle of your threesome and, you know, you're not going to be able to perform. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to get back to the house and have the two girls become so entwined with each other that they're dominating <laughs> at this point. You know, that can happen a lot in San Francisco if you get two girls that are like really into each other. But don't be afraid to be a sub. You know, get it however you can. <laughs> you know, she's gonna fucking put you, lay you down, tie you up, let them tie you up. Fuck it. You know? <laughs> be like, look, here I am, a blank void in the universe, just some sexual provider for you, You can, and I'm just gonna be here and you guys can fuck me. You know? How about that? You know? Nah. Yeah, it's not going to go down exactly like you see in the movies and stuff. It's going to go to, it's, things are different. Humans are different. All like relationships and interactions are different. So be chill with whatever goes down. The thing that Evil Stifler does that I think like most people watching this video are going to have the toughest time to do is he leads. He leads like no one I've ever seen. If you if you even have a little bit of like, well, do you guys want to? Or do you guys want to come? Or what do you want to do? If you have like a little bit of that, then they're going to kind of look yeah. at each other. They're going to think, ah, well, we probably like, you we be just met fast. this dude or whatever. They're going to start, they're going to backtrack and it's going to derail the whole thing. And please, treat all hoes with equal reserve. <laughs>
All right, definitely going to edit that part out. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you made it to the end of this video, consider subscribing. Thanks Let us know me. what you thought. Um, if you have any more questions, Evil Stifler and myself will be happy to answer them. So let us know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there.